Earth's Crust Definition The Earth's crust is the outermost solid shell of our planet, forming the topmost layer of its lithosphere, which also includes the rigid upper portion of the mantle. Comprising the continents, ocean floors, and the underlying materials known as basement rocks, the crust is critical to understanding the geological processes that have shaped Earth's surface over millions of years. Geologically, the Earth's crust is divided into two main types, continental crust and oceanic crust. Continental crust is thicker and less dense, primarily composed of granitic rocks such as granite and sedimentary rocks like sandstone and shale. It forms the continents and is rich in minerals and resources. In contrast, oceanic crust is thinner and denser, primarily made up of basaltic rocks like basalt and gabbro. Oceanic crust underlies the ocean basins and is continually created and destroyed through the process of seafloor spreading and subduction. The Earth's crust plays a fundamental role in various geological processes, including plate tectonics, volcanism, and erosion. Plate tectonics, for instance, involves the movement and interaction of lithospheric plates, which make up the crust and the uppermost part of the mantle. These plates can collide, separate, or slide past each other, resulting in earthquakes, mountain formation, and the formation of new crust through volcanic activity. Furthermore, the Earth's crust is essential for sustaining life as we know it. It provides a habitat for diverse ecosystems on land and in the oceans, supports agriculture, and serves as a source of valuable resources such as minerals, metals, and fossil fuels. Understanding the composition, structure, and dynamics of the Earth's crust is vital for various scientific disciplines, including geology, geography, and environmental science, as it offers insights into Earth's past, present, and future evolution. Earth's Crust Composition The composition of the Earth's crust is varied and complex, reflecting the diverse geological processes that have shaped it over billions of years. Broadly speaking, the crust is primarily composed of rocks, minerals, and elements, with different regions exhibiting distinct compositions and characteristics. Continental Crust The continental crust, which forms the land masses, is primarily composed of granitic rocks, also known as felsic rocks. These rocks are rich in silica, SiO2, and aluminum, Al, along with other elements such as potassium, K, sodium, Na, and calcium, Ca. Granite is a common example of a continental crust rock, often found in mountain ranges and continental interiors. Oceanic crust, oceanic crust, which underlies the ocean basins, has a different composition compared to continental crust. It is predominantly composed of basaltic rocks, also known as mafic rocks, which are rich in iron, Fe, and magnesium, Mg, and have lower silica content compared to granitic rocks. Basalt is the primary rock type found in oceanic crust, along with gabbro, which forms from the cooling and solidification of basaltic magma beneath the ocean floor. Sedimentary rocks Sedimentary rocks are another significant component of the Earth's crust, forming through the accumulation and lithification of sediments such as sand, mud, and organic matter. These rocks often contain a variety of minerals and fossils and can include materials such as limestone, sandstone, shale, and conglomerate. Sedimentary rocks are widespread in both continental and oceanic crust and provide valuable insights into past environments and geological history. Metamorphic rocks Metamorphic rocks form when existing rocks undergo changes in temperature, pressure, or chemical composition, typically deep within the Earth's crust or during tectonic processes such as mountain building events. These rocks exhibit distinct textures and mineral assemblages, often reflecting the conditions under which they formed. Examples of metamorphic rocks include marble, slate, schist, and gneiss. Minerals and elements In addition to rocks, the Earth's crust contains a wide variety of minerals and elements, which contribute to its overall composition. Common minerals found in the crust include quartz, feldspar, mica, and calcite, while elements such as oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, and calcium are abundant constituents. Overall, the composition of the Earth's crust is heterogeneous and dynamic, 
reflecting the interplay of geological processes such as erosion, deposition, volcanic activity, and tectonic movement. Understanding the composition of the crust is essential for interpreting geological phenomena, resource exploration, and understanding Earth's history and evolution. Earth's crust layers. Typically categorized based on their depth, composition, and physical properties. The main layers of the Earth's crust include Upper crust, the uppermost layer of the Earth's crust, extending from the Earth's surface to a depth of about 5 to 10 kilometers beneath continents and about 5 kilometers beneath ocean basins. The upper crust is composed primarily of granitic rocks, continental crust, or basaltic rocks, oceanic crust, and contains a variety of minerals and elements. It is the layer of the crust that directly interacts with the atmosphere, biosphere, and hydrosphere. Lower crust, below the upper crust lies the lower crust, extending from depths of about 10 to 30 kilometers beneath continents and about 5 to 10 kilometers beneath ocean basins. The lower crust is denser than the upper crust and is typically composed of a mixture of granitic and basaltic rocks, along with metamorphic rocks formed at high temperatures and pressures. This layer may also contain intrusions of igneous rocks, such as plutons and batholiths. Mohorovicic discontinuity, Moho the Moho is a boundary that separates the Earth's crust from the underlying mantle. It is typically located at depths of about 5 to 10 kilometers beneath ocean basins and about 20 to 70 kilometers beneath continents. The moho represents a significant change in seismic velocity, indicating the transition from the low-velocity crust to the higher-velocity mantle. Continental lithosphere Beneath the continental crust lies the continental lithosphere, which includes the crust and the uppermost portion of the mantle. The continental lithosphere is relatively thick compared to oceanic lithosphere and may extend to depths of about 100 to 150 kilometers. It is characterized by its composition of granitic rocks and its relatively low density compared to the underlying mantle. Oceanic lithosphere, below the oceanic crust is the oceanic lithosphere, which consists of the oceanic crust and the uppermost portion of the mantle beneath ocean basins. The oceanic lithosphere is thinner and denser than its continental counterpart and may extend to depths of about 50 to 100 kilometers. It is primarily composed of basaltic rocks and exhibits higher seismic velocities compared to continental lithosphere. These layers collectively make up the Earth's crust, providing valuable insights into the planet's composition, structure, and dynamic processes. Studying the properties and interactions of these layers is essential for understanding geological phenomena such as plate tectonics, seismic activity, and the formation of Earth's surface features. Earth's crust thickness The thickness of the Earth's crust varies significantly depending on location, with differences between continental and oceanic crust as well as variations within these categories due to geological processes. On average, however, the crust is thinner beneath ocean basins compared to continents. Continental crust, the thickness of continental crust varies widely but generally ranges from about 20 to 70 kilometers. In areas of mountain building or crustal thickening, such as mountain ranges like the Himalayas, the continental crust can be much thicker, reaching depths of up to 70 kilometers or more. Conversely, in stable continental regions, the crust may be thinner, closer to the lower end of the range. Oceanic crust, oceanic crust is generally thinner and more uniform in thickness compared to continental crust. It typically ranges from about 5 to 10 kilometers in thickness. This relatively consistent thickness is largely due to the process of seafloor spreading at mid-ocean ridges, where new oceanic crust is continuously formed, maintaining a relatively uniform thickness across ocean basins. Overall, the average thickness of the Earth's crust globally is estimated to be around 30 to 50 kilometers. However, this is just an average, and actual crustal thickness can vary significantly depending on tectonic activity, geological history, and other factors. Scientists use various methods to measure crustal thickness, including seismic studies, gravity surveys, and drilling boreholes, to gain a better understanding of the Earth's crustal structure and composition. Earth's Crust Formation 
The formation of the Earth's crust is a complex process that has occurred over billions of years, involving various geological and tectonic mechanisms. Understanding the formation of the Earth's crust involves considering both continental and oceanic crust formation processes. Formation of Continental Crust Early differentiation, during the early stages of Earth's formation, intense heat and gravitational forces led to the separation of materials based on density. Lighter elements rose to the surface, forming the initial crustal layer, while denser materials sank deeper into the mantle. Accretion and aggregation, over time, the early Earth experienced intense bombardment from asteroids and other celestial bodies. These impacts contributed to the formation of larger landmasses through the process of accretion and aggregation, where smaller bodies collided and merged to form larger landmasses. Granite formation, the continental crust is predominantly composed of granitic rocks, which formed through the partial melting of existing rocks in the lower crust or mantle. This process, known as partial melting or differentiation, led to the formation of granitic magma, which rose to the surface and solidified to form the early continental crust. Continued growth and differentiation, through processes such as volcanism, tectonic activity, and sedimentation, the continental crust continued to evolve and grow over geological time scales. Mountain building events, such as subduction and collision between tectonic plates, also contributed to the growth and modification of continental crust. Formation of Oceanic Crust Seafloor spreading, the primary mechanism for the formation of oceanic crust is seafloor spreading, which occurs at mid-ocean ridges. Here, tectonic plates diverge, and magma from the mantle rises to fill the gap, solidifying to form new oceanic crust. As the crust forms at the ridges, it gradually moves away from the ridge axis, creating new ocean floor. Basaltic composition, oceanic crust is predominantly composed of basaltic rocks, which form from the solidification of basaltic magma at mid-ocean ridges. These rocks are relatively dense and rich in iron and magnesium compared to continental crust. Subduction and recycling, as oceanic crust ages and cools, it becomes denser and eventually sinks back into the mantle through the process of subduction at convergent plate boundaries. Subducted oceanic crust is partially melted in the mantle, contributing to the formation of new magma, which can lead to volcanic activity and the formation of new crust. Overall, the formation of the Earth's crust is a dynamic process driven by various geological and tectonic forces, including volcanic activity, plate tectonics, erosion, and sedimentation. The crust continues to evolve and change over geological time scales, shaping the Earth's surface and influencing the planet's geological and environmental processes. Earth's Crust Evolution The evolution of Earth's crust is a complex and dynamic process that spans billions of years, shaped by numerous geological, tectonic, and environmental factors. Understanding the evolution of the Earth's crust involves examining changes in its composition, structure, and distribution over geological time scales. Here's an overview of the key stages in the evolution of the Earth's crust. Formation of primordial crust, during the early stages of Earth's formation, intense heat and gravitational forces led to the differentiation of materials, with lighter elements rising to form the primordial crust. This initial crust was likely thin, mafic in composition, and subjected to intense bombardment by asteroids and meteorites. Accretion and differentiation Over time, the Earth continued to accrete material through impacts with other celestial bodies, leading to the formation of larger land masses and the differentiation of the crust into continental and oceanic components. The differentiation process involved the separation of lighter continental crust enriched in granitic rocks and heavier oceanic crust composed mainly of basaltic rocks. Archean Eon, 4.0 to 2.5 billion years ago during the Archean Eon, the Earth's crust underwent significant geological activity, including the formation of the first continents and the development of primitive life forms. The formation of continental crust during this time was likely driven by processes such as partial melting, volcanism, and crustal recycling. Proterozoic Eon, 
2.5 billion to 541 million years ago the Proterozoic Aeon was characterized by the continued growth and stabilization of continental crust, as well as the emergence of complex life forms such as eukaryotic organisms and multicellular organisms. This period also saw the assembly of supercontinents, such as Rodinia and Panotia, through processes of continental collision and amalgamation. Phanerozoic Aeon, 541 million years ago to present the Phanerozoic Aeon is marked by the proliferation of complex life forms and the formation of modern continents through processes of plate tectonics, including the breakup and reassembly of supercontinents. This period also witnessed significant episodes of mountain building, volcanic activity, and sedimentation, shaping the Earth's crust into its current configuration. Throughout its evolution, the Earth's crust has been continually modified by processes such as erosion, weathering, sedimentation, volcanic activity, and tectonic movement. These processes have influenced the distribution of geological features, mineral resources, and ecosystems, contributing to the rich diversity of landscapes and environments observed on Earth today. Ongoing scientific research continues to deepen our understanding of the Earth's crust evolution, providing insights into the planet's geological history and the mechanisms driving its dynamic changes. Earth's Crust Displacement The concept of Earth's crust displacement, also known as crustal displacement or polar shift, refers to the hypothetical movement of the Earth's lithosphere, the rigid outer layer consisting of the crust and uppermost mantle, relative to the underlying asthenosphere. This idea has been proposed in various forms throughout history, often as part of alternative theories seeking to explain geological and climatic phenomena. One of the most well-known proponents of crustal displacement was the American engineer Charles H. Hapgood, who proposed the theory in his book, The Earth's Shifting Crust, published in 1958. Hapgood suggested that sudden and dramatic shifts in the Earth's crust could explain geological evidence such as the presence of ancient ice sheets in regions where they would not be expected based on current climate conditions. The theory of crustal displacement posits that the entire Earth's crust, or significant portions of it, could shift horizontally across the surface of the planet, causing changes in the distribution of land masses, ocean basins, and polar regions. Proponents of this theory have suggested various mechanisms for crustal displacement, including True polar wander, the entire Earth's lithosphere rotates as a single unit, causing the positions of the geographic poles to shift relative to the planet's surface. Axis tilt, changes in the Earth's axial tilt, possibly due to variations in the distribution of mass on the planet's surface, leading to shifts in the orientation of the poles. Continental drift, large-scale movements of continental plates relative to one another, resulting in changes in the positions of land masses and ocean basins. However, mainstream scientific consensus does not support the theory of crustal displacement as a valid explanation for geological or climatic phenomena. The overwhelming evidence from fields such as plate tectonics, paleoclimatology, and geophysics supports the understanding that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into tectonic plates that move slowly over geologic time scales due to processes such as seafloor spreading, subduction, and continental drift. While small-scale movements and shifts in the Earth's crust do occur due to tectonic activity and other processes, there is no compelling evidence to support the idea of rapid and large-scale crustal displacement as proposed by some alternative theories. The geological and climatic changes observed throughout Earth's history are better explained by established scientific principles such as plate tectonics, orbital variations, and natural climate variability.